Hi everyone, I wanted to talk a bit about remote desktop. I think this is a massively overlooked Microsoft feature that's built in and completely free. So remote desktop lets you connect um, from one PC to another PC or one Windows machine to another Windows machine. So you can access a remote machine, uh, you can access files, videos, apps, and all sorts of things. Very handy. So here, if you can look on my screen on the right, this is the desktop of the laptop that I'm on now. And then the window that's open is an instance of remote desktop, and that is tunneling into an Optiplex um, desktop tower type PC, which I'm running a Windows, uh, which I'm running a, a Blue Iris uh, security uh, server from. So from anywhere in the house, you can also do it remotely. You can tunnel in via remote desktop and access that PC. So I'll show you how to set that up. So just staying on my Optiplex, this is the remote machine, but if what you need to do is on the machine you want to access, you have to enable remote desktop. So if you go to the Windows icon and right click and then go to system, left click, once that's open on the left hand side, scroll down and you can see remote desktop here. So click on that. I've already enabled it by default, that's off. So enable that. Uh, you've got a couple of other options under here if you want to. You can keep the PC awake when it's uh, plugged in uh, and you can make it discoverable. So uh, these are the settings that work for me. So anyway, all you need to do is enable that. And then let me just come out of that. And what I'll do is I'll leave my remote desk uh, top connection to that PC. So now I'm on the local machine. Uh, all you need to do to connect to the remote machine that you've just enabled for remote desktop is uh, left click and go for and type in remote and then you see it comes up remote desktop connection. Click on that. All you would do here, uh, I've already done it obviously, but type the IP address uh, or the host name of the machine that you want to connect to. Um, you can also enter your username and then just press connect. That'll open up a connection to the remote machine. Then all you need to do is add your password. So the username and password is the username and password that you would use to log in to the remote machine. So I'll just go ahead and enter my uh, password. and then just press enter and there you go. So that's a full screen remote view of the desktop on the remote machine. Uh, you can put that into a window. So you could just leave that running if you needed to, if you needed to look at that machine from time to time, you could. I, I, I can't say how much that the um, Microsoft Remote Desktop is understated and underused because you can use a machine headless. So my remote desktop that's running my Blue Iris cameras, that's all it does. I don't want to have a keyboard and a monitor on that. It's tucked away in a cupboard, connected via Ethernet to my LAN, and then I can just access everything I need via the remote desktop. You can do this on other devices. So I could use this to connect to um, single board computers like Raspberry Pi, for, for example, again, hidden away somewhere with no um, keyboard and um, screen needed. Anyway, I hope you think that's helpful. Really do give you, I do give you a lot of encouragement to go try this. I think you will absolutely love it. I do. Um, anyway, I hope that helps. That's all for today. If you do, please consider subscribing and uh, hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.